front. It has the traction. You've got to go. If you're Reed it's and go Stewart's time. out front, you've got to go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, it's just... and if you look at the start here, this is Reed. <clears throat> and way down here is James Stewart, way on the inside. We've seen that inside work. Here's our progressive starting grid of the hat, and we're ready to go. And Reed gets a better start than Stewart. The whole shot goes to Alessi, and Reed goes to the front of the field. James Stewart sits in third behind Michael Alessi, but for how long? He comes to the inside, and now the two title combatants run one and two. Reed just in front of James Stewart. This is why everybody packs into the stadiums to watch these two guys. Chad Reed at any time. And his lines are a little bit better. He's getting out of the rough lines, and he's just setting everything up, like you said, Jeff. Makes right it here, a lot easier. Oh, look at this. See, bad line choice there. Reed made a mistake there, and he's lucky he's on the inside. Now, that's a corner where Stewart had been coming to the inside. Instead, he goes outside, and it looks like that helped Reed a bit. Okay, next turn, after this triple, Reed needs to find a new line. He's got a little gap right here. Let's see if he goes right to the inside. So he's got a little kick there. Watch. Stewart triples in. Oh! He's going to close it up. Man. Stewart tripling that thing, and your suspension bottoms out. He's like scary. Got a little panic rev going there. This is just incredible laps by two of the sport's greatest champions. And the amount, of, you. the amount of pressure on the shoulders of both of these riders right now, with everything on the line for this championship, racing at this level, well, it's just incredible how they're able to withstand the pressure from each other. Well, Stewart knows he, he has no room for error, okay? He, he needs to win this race, but he also, if he doesn't win, he certainly has to get second to keep this thing anywhere near being close. But we've got a lot of racing. Both riders have been very very smart, very patient. Oh. Without taking it to the lappers, here it is. Here comes Stewart alongside. Still can't get to where he needs to be to complete the pass. And Reed holds on a little longer as we're at the halfway point. Reed has got to change up his line there. He has one spot, I mean, it's kill you lose so much time there, man. You're hitting that, hitting that rough rut like that. You got the lapper up. getting in there. Uh -oh. That's like, man, it's just, it's just an unbelievable race. I mean, I just, I'm, I'm on the edge of my seat right now. It has been one of the best championship fights we've ever oh, had. Stewart, oh, Stewart, big, whoa. big bobble uh -oh, there. And wow. that really opened the door for Reed. Wow. Wow, you know what, Ricky and Ralph? Everything that I said about this track, having all this traction, I don't think it's like that. They're getting into some slick spots. Watch there this here. Oh, ooh, you see, got there, he's, he was trying to stay out of the rut, make it a little bit smoother, and his wheel fell into the rut and kicked back sideways. See that rut right there that Chad just hit? I mean, he is losing a lot of time right there. Look it's at, close past here. The halfway point. Patient. Past the halfway point. I was going to ask you about that, Jeff and Ricky. He, how long can he wait? I mean, if you wait too long, you open the opportunities to maybe make that mistake, and then there's no time to come back after it. Yeah, you don't want to pass him too early. Right. That's the thing. That's what I think uh, James is doing right now, possibly. Well, and, and both riders have slowed down considerably. The fastest lap of this race has been from James Stewart at 51.7. Both riders in the 53, 54 the Jeff, last time around. Jeff, if it slows down, does that favor Reed? He's just not quite on that edge? No, this is a chess match right now. They are definitely feeling each other out right here. Stewart has had the luxury that he can watch everything that Chad Reed is doing. Here comes Stewart again, looking inside. Stewart trying to make it. He switches it up. He switches it up. Stewart triples in. Oh. Man, what this is battle. some good racing right here. It's so intense at this level for both of these champions to be racing at this level and trying not to make any mistakes. No, here it is to the inside. I think Stewart's going to have to make an aggressive move to get by him. Reed with a quick look over his shoulder to see exactly where Stewart is at. But watch out. Let's see what Chad Reed is doing. He's very, he knows what's going on. He's, he's aware of that. He's riding the insides. He knows if he can protect the insides, that's the best line. If Reed can hold on and win this race, Mentally, what a massive boost it's got to be for him in this championship fight. But Stewart is not going to try to let that happen. He comes charging around the outside. He closes it off. Bar to bar. Uh oh. And Stewart takes the lead away. But Reed oh. comes right back. They come together. They oh. still don't do it. Here's Reed back to the lead. Oh, he's 
waiting for him. Reed, uh, James wants to take him out. Oh, look at that! They stand each other up. Stand, he wants to take him out. This goes all the way back to Here practice this morning. Here we go. Oh, oh side by side. I can't believe it. Oh. Reed and Stone oh. going out and Reed goes back, back to the lead. Back by him. The and right Chad Reed oh, has the lead once again. The right fork guard on Chad Reed's bike has came loose. It's going to start to get... We got a rider down. Oh, oh. And Sam Stewart almost goes right into him with six laps remaining here Let's in Jacksonville. Stewart can do it again. The same spot. He gets the drive. He stands him up again. Oh, he makes a little mistake there. This goes all the way back to practice this morning where they got into it on the racetrack during practice qualifying. Exchanging words, oh, and it carries man. on to the main event tonight in Jacksonville. It ain't over. Five to go when they cross Look the Look at this little inside line right there, guys. Chad Reed has got that line wired. Look at how he comes right back after him. Stewart not able to gap him tonight. Just incredible racing here in Jacksonville. First time to this stadium. Our champions oh. have not disappointed. Reed makes a slight mistake that may give Stewart the breathing room he needs. He's going to get him another win here. One step closer. James Stewart on his way to victory number 10 as he lights the candles on top of the victory finish line here in Jacksonville. James Stewart's going to the top of the podium. We'll talk to him when we come back. Post-checkered flag conversation between Chad Reed on the one and James Stewart on the seven. What do you think, guys? Friendly or not? I, I Probably not at probably this point. Probably not, <laughs> Ralphie. Probably not at this stage in the game. Yeah, it's just way too intense, too much on the line. Well, let's go down to Aaron. Well, Larry Brooks is trying to get his heart rate down right now. Larry, you're on pins and needles that entire race. What was going through your mind? Uh, I mean, they were close. I mean, it was a close race. And